kids, I coach kids uh, fifth and sixth grade flag football. Uh, when they're having fun, hmm. they play at a different level. Yeah. But I never connected it. Play is another way to get into the madness too, because let's say you work as a marketing manager for a design studio. When was the last time you said to your staff, you know what? It's Thursday at three o'clock. Let's all go out for frozen yogurt. It's just fun. I mean, what, what, I mean so what? Or whatever you want to do. What, what is something you want to do at work that's fun? Something that you think is, is, is play. The way you analyze things in a state of play is different than the way you analyze things in a state of fear or worry or whatever. You, you're more creative and you are more innovative. And one of, when I started at Vestron, they had, the company had already greenlit its first movie, which was kind of an ultra-low budget, what we would call today Game of Thrones. There was no Game of Thrones then, but it's kind of movie. And it was going to be made in Italy, and on a back lot at a studio in Rome, and my boss had said to me and my staff, okay, I want violence, I want sword fights, I want sex, I want magic, I want everything, 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 and as a joke, he said, and I want snakes and wizards. It, it was a, funny. <laughs> and, and so as we were developing the script and the producer, we were the studio, the producer was already in Italy, and we would finish every conference call with him by saying, and remember, snakes and wizards it was our cry and so i get to the set finally it's my first set it was lovely it was italy it was kind of relaxed the producer was an old hand at this a little wine at lunch everyone was having and they start telling me they have a surprise and then the day of the surprise comes and they tell me this is just for you and everyone's very anxious and very excited and we're standing out back right after lunch and i see in the hills of rome nothing and then a little dot and the dot gets a little bigger and bigger and as i see it's dust and so there's a truck as the truck comes closer and closer, it's very colorfully decorated. It backs up. They're all surrounding me in a semicircle. A band is playing. I don't know where they got a band. And the truck, the back of the truck opens and out pops all these women with snakes around their neck. Rumi's pythons, boa constrictors. And everyone is dressed as beautiful wizards, women and men. And they're like, we got you, your snakes and wizards. And I realized we never told them we were joking. Snakes and wizards was just our joke. It was like our battle cry. There were no snakes and wizards in the movie, but clearly they had gone to enormous, oh enormous, enormous, enormous trouble to find somehow all these snakes and dress all these people up as wizards all over Italy. And what do I do? I mean, what do I do? And so in a, in a state of not play, you could easily get mad at them. You could see, where did you see this in the script? You should have asked us if we're going to go over budget. In a state of play, plus, honestly, it's... A little hard to say no to a 12-foot Burmese python when you're staring him in the face. In a state of play, you say, you know, here's what we're going to do. And so I did what you should do in a state of play as a producer of your first movie. Put them all in the movie, I said. And we put, and, and then we did. They were, they were, there was no place for them. They just, somehow we threw them in the movie. And they looked great. And honestly, the movie's terrible. But <laughs> it made a fortune. And I like to think the Snakes and Wizards helped. But not what what would not even if they didn't not putting in the movie would have disappointed that crew like crazy, because they went to such hard work and it was really our mistake because we just it was so outlandish a thing snakes and wizards when there is no snakes and wizards in the movie it's like as if I called you before this podcast and said and I can't wait for the zebra and I can't wait for the zebra and you brought a zebra and I'm like what the hell is that <laughs> and that's what they did and you know what it, we had a blast. And the movie made a fortune. As I said, it's really not a good movie, but it, it did make a fortune. And I'm so glad the snakes and wizards were in the movie.